So my name is Jeremy France, and today is the day that I will be running my version of the 124th uh, Boston Marathon. Uh, this year, as everybody knows, we have to run it virtually, unable to gather, you know, as they have in all the years past. But we're here to make the most of it and make sure that we finish what we started back in November uh, when I was signed up for representation of the Pedro Martinez Foundation. We went through a lot of effort to raise the money needed to go to such a great cause. And today's kind of the conclusion of all of that effort. I'm just incredibly honored uh, to have the opportunity, um, you know, to, to represent such a fine organization, represent my family, represent my hometown of Westboro, Massachusetts, as well as my friends up here in New Hampshire. Weather seems to be holding up nice and uh, I'm just truly blessed to be able to show up for life today. About a week and a half ago, I got a small box and this is in there with a thank you card from the Pedro Martinez Foundation. Really no explanation, just a, just a thank you. So, super blessed. Went along with uh, the card that I got sent in, uh, in April for raising the most money in March. So, these will be, uh, be with me forever. I had an opportunity to go to a lot of baseball card shows with my father uh, growing up, so we were able to get Carl Yastrzemski. Honored to get Ted Williams. This one's pretty cool. This is uh, this is Sparky Anderson, and we were at an old timers game in Fenway way back when. We were by the visitors' dugout, and all these guys were all there yelling, "Sparky, Sparky, sign my ball!" So I, I made my way up front and I said, Mr. Anderson, would you please sign my ball? And he came right over and signed mine only and walked away. And then uh, the two biggest all-stars, this is my brother and I uh, back in Little League. All right, so this is cool. This is a very good friend of mine, Ricky, brought me these pictures up. And this is Jackie Robinson stealing home base in the World Series against the Yankees. And there's Yogi Berra. The best part about this picture is my buddy Ricky's grandfather is Bill Summers, the umpire. So you can see here, Yogi, not too pleased that he called him safe. From stories that I've heard till his dying day, he, he claims he had him out. Real cool uh, to get these pictures. And that same gentleman, Ricky, good friend of mine, he's, he's uh, battling Parkinson's and he says, you ever have a bad day, you roll the dice, see what comes up. And so he's got. So yeah, I'm just gonna be packing up all my drinks, my snacks, and got my spare set of shoes. So we should be in pretty good shape. When I started running a couple years ago, I had just a pair of workout shoes, um, you know, just basic cross trainers. And uh, after I got some miles in, I, uh, I decided to buy some running shoes and I went down to the Nike store and, and legit just picked out, you know, the ones that were the lightest um, and fit the best. And uh, since then, this will be my third pair of Air Pegasus. So these are the ones I wore in New York for the New York City Marathon in 2019. These were gonna be the ones I wore for Boston in April. They've got a few miles on them now. So they're kind of just my warm up shoes. I got my Garmin, which is synced up to um, the app that the Boston Athletic Association uh, provided to track our time and our mileage. So we got all our drinks pre-made. And we'll have our regular water as well, because we're gonna need all that. And then we've got these energy chews and some energy waffles. And we also have our gels. So these will be in my pocket of my, uh, my shorts as I run and uh, you know they kind of just give you a little bit of a little bit of a burst this is given an opportunity um, you know for my for my parents uh, to be able to kind of run with me along the uh, the route obviously they'll be in their vehicle um, and they'll be the kind of my primary source of, of, of handing out water and, and encouragement for all of, of those that you know are, are taking uh, advantage of this opportunity to, to run the virtual experience you know I, I applaud them and 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 uh, it just shows, you know, what what type of determined group of people um, go into to doing something like this. Um, you know, the day may come where I have an opportunity to, to run from Hopkinton to Boston, 
Um, but regardless, I'm still representing the ones I love, the foundation that uh, Pedro and his wife Carolina put together. And, uh, you know, and I'm also representing, um, you know, the, the group of people out there that um, may at one point in their lives, um, you know, felt hopeless and uh, lost. And, uh, you know, I've had an opportunity these past few years um, to make some changes and, uh, and show that there is hope and, and, and there's, uh, you know, there's life out there even when, when you think that, um, you know, there isn't. And the, the key to all of that is, is just willingness, willingness to change, willingness to understand that um, life can get tough, um, but you're never alone. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have all of those that are still out there sick and suffering on my mind when I run, um, along with those that are no longer with us. Um, so when, when things really start to get tough, you know, I'm going to have to remember that, you know, I'm fortunate enough to actually be able to do this, and there's a lot of people out there that aren't. Um, so we're going to make the most of it and uh, hopefully be home in time, uh, you know, to watch the Pats kick off. In my opinion, it's the culmination of 10 years of hard work for Jeremy. If anyone's familiar with Jeremy's history, we know that he's a recovering alcoholic, and from where he was 10 years ago to where he is now is just incredible. From where 10 years ago, every time the phone rang, oh no, what is it now, to see him do something like this is just a huge moment for our family. I'm very proud of him. It's just, it's, it's, it's a great honor to just be doing this with him and just uh, being together as a family and supporting him because he's worked really hard for this and he's inspiration for us and a lot of other people. I've never physically challenged myself anything compared to this, but uh, my biggest challenge in life is I adopted Jeremy and his brother Jason and becoming a father out of the blue had a challenge for a number of years. It's one of those things if I could do it over again I think I could be great. But when Jeremy had all his troubles I can remember one time when he had to go to court and he was sentenced to 60 days in jail and watching him be taken off I thought I had failed him as a father and it's just being a father, not from day one, was a challenge. Should be good. Love you. You'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yep. Remember, kickoff is at 1 o'clock. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Thanks for coming, little buddy. Love you. So Jeremy, how you feeling? I feel great. Nice to see my family. Makes it that much better. I'm being followed by the Hawks too. Blessings from God. We've been going every two miles, roughly around every two miles. We're gonna see if that space is still good for him. Now that he's getting close to the halfway point. He may want us to shorten up a little. <laughs> AC still good, Jeremy? Yeah. Grab a final freeze next stop. Gonna have to start running soon. What's on your mind?
mine. This is kind of my next checkpoint. Getting to the point now where we got a good rhythm going. I feel good, I feel strong, I got no aches and pains. So far, pretty satisfied with the effort I put in to get here. So, kind of feel like I'm on the home stretch, even though it's a little bit long of a home stretch. Fear for me um, and failure a lot of times are a blessing. Um, had I not walked through fear and failed um, throughout the course of my life, I wouldn't have grown and had an opportunity to see where I could do better. Um, you know, when it comes to anything that you're doing, whether it's, uh, you know, something at work, uh, something personal, you have to understand that there's always going to be a level of imperfection. And um, the best thing, you know, that I can do is, is, you know, take those experiences, learn from them, and move on to the next. Um, I don't worry about, you know, what's going to happen next, what happened in the past. I try to focus on the present. Um, knowing that you know those those slip ups, those mistakes, those things that have happened, um, you know they already took place. And if I'm doing the right thing, then I, that I've dr I've drawn from those experiences, um, you know the 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 lessons to to improve. For me, there really is no failure. You know whether I come in in three hours or I come in in six hours, I'm gonna come in and finish. Um, you know what I started for this particular event. You know, the simple fact that I'm in a position today to do this is, uh, is a victory. Those who knew me um, a decade ago um, knew that, you know, getting out of bed, um, taking a shower, brushing your teeth, the things that, um, you know, a normal person would do, um, you know, were, were beyond my uh beyond my reality so to get up this morning at four prepare to run um a whole bunch of miles um for such a great cause to me it doesn't matter you know if i end up having to crawl across um you know the virtual finish line it's uh it's it's 100 percent uh, a victory this is where you can't feel your feet. Legit. Are your body and your mind on the same page? My mind is way ahead. Body Time to shut down a little bit from the knees down. But we're so close, they're gonna stop me. Just want to say God bless everybody and be kind to ourselves and everyone else. Life is good. Love you. Incredibly grateful, um, you know, to be here at the finish line. Um, you know, this whole journey has been about we, not me. And uh, you know, to have my mom and dad and my brother and nephews here, um, 
along with a few loved ones that chose to come out. It just uh, it just kind of puts a really special bow tie on on uh, on what it was you know I was looking for out of this, and uh, you know how good it feels uh, to be able to to put maximum effort and constant correction into uh, into a great cause like the Pedro Martinez Foundation. I'm so proud of, of uh, everybody who helped me, you know, raise the funds necessary to get a bib this year. Forgive me, it's just kind of all hit me. There was a time in my life when, uh, you know, it was impossible to take care of myself. And to be able to do what I've done for other people is, uh, that, that's where I get the most satisfaction, so. Super proud. Hey Pedro and Carolina. I just wanna thank you for the opportunity uh, that you gave me to represent your foundation. I hope I did it with dignity and integrity and honor. I, uh, I couldn't think of, of a better foundation and a, and a better icon, um, you know, to be affiliated with. Uh, you were one of my heroes, you know, growing up. And, uh, you know, I drew a lot of strength out there today on the course, knowing that you would do the same. Um, I'd love an opportunity to run again next year. So if you're in, I'm all in. Love you. God bless.